Hey, Eagle fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Philadelphia Eagles Now. We have a chat sports challenge to start today's video. You know the Cowboys report? Maybe you watch it, maybe you haven't, but it's our chat sports Cowboys channel, kind of like this is the chat sports Eagles channel. They are beating us in the monthly like category, and so help us go ahead and jump ahead of them in terms of total likes on this channel by giving this video a thumbs up right now. Just hit that little thumbs up button right above, I think it's above the subscribe button, to help us beat out those darn Cowboys because we all know we hate the Dallas Cowboys. Today's Eagles video is brought to you guys by our friends at Manscaped. We'll talk more about the Lawnmower 4.0 a little bit later on. I want to give a shout out to uh, our sponsor today's video in Manscaped. Okay, today's video, as you see in the title, is about offensive starter position battles. Now, we're going to talk about in the future, you know, backup position battles and practice squad bubble guys and roster cuts and stuff. But I want to get into the actual meat and potatoes of this offense in terms of where are the actual battles taking place at training camp because there aren't a ton. There's only three, but there are three very important ones. So we're talking about who's in the battle and who might win the battle, in my overall opinion. So, first big battle is running back. And you're saying, Thomas, running back? What? That running back? There's no running back position battle. Yeah, no, honestly, there actually is. Will Sanders be the incumbent, uh, I would say, likely starter for the Philadelphia Eagles? Yes, 100%. Like, 100%. He is running back number one as of right now. But make no mistake... If he were to get injured or he were to continue fumbling the football or he were to just kind of regress a little bit, they have running backs in place behind him ready to take over. They almost have a contingency plan for when he gets injured because he's been injured basically his entire career so far in Philadelphia. As you look at the entire Eagles running back depth chart, you see what I'm talking about here. They obviously drafted... Uh, a running back just this past year by getting Kenneth Gainwell in the later round of the NFL draft. That was no kind of fluke. Like, you normally you get running backs as undrafted free agents. If you really need one, you take one in the NFL draft. The drafting of Kenneth Gainwell was a big deal, and he had a very impressive year. I mean, a lot more touchdowns than Miles Sanders did, and seems like he is poised for a big breakout year in year two. Obviously, you have Boston Scott sitting there as well, as he has a chance to make the roster. Maybe not a starter, but still, there is a definite battle between Sanders and Gainwell. Then you have these other guys, and I mentioned them as the other guys in Jason Huntley, uh, Kennedy Brooks, you know, starting with Huntley, a guy undrafted, a guy who is not supposed to be the starter in the National Football League, who very well should not be being out, Miles Sanders, a former second round draft pick, but he's looked pretty darn good so far during the offseason. And what happens if he looks better during training camp? Like what happens if he is the best running back during training camp, the best running back during preseason? Do you still give it to Miles Sanders in a contract year, or do you go oh, much cheaper, Jason Huntley? All right, this is kind of the thought I have in terms of this position battle. What about Kennedy Brooks, the running back out of Oklahoma? I mean, Brooks, I think, is another guy who should have been drafted. Of course, there are too many running backs every single year, and so a lot of them fall to the wayside as undrafted free agents. Not saying these two make the roster or even win the number one job, but it is not as surefire as, like, this is your number one starter. There is no debate here with Miles Sanders. There is a battle, and it's going to be waged so far uh, during training camp. Okay, pin comments down below during the ad break. What position battle are you most excited to watch? We'll talk about defensive players in a video later on this week or tomorrow. But right now, what position battle are you most excited to watch? Let me know down below at the pin comment. Okay, we move over to wide receiver. And I was just saying, Thomas, wait, there, there's no battle at wide receiver. It's A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. Like, we talk about Brown versus Smith for number one. Who cares? No, that's not what I'm saying. Obviously, Brown and Smith are the obvious starters. Like, we understand that. But when I talk about the starting wide receivers, I consider there to be three starting wide receivers, and those are your three main wide receivers. And so, you have Devontae Smith, and obviously you go ahead and have a guy like A.J. Brown to be your two really 1A, 1B wide receivers. But who's the third? Because a third wide receiver still plays a ton, and they play a lot in the National Football League, and it is an absolute cluster from three all the way down. You have Zach Paschal, you have Jalen Rager, you have obviously Quez Watkins, you have uh, 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 Devin Allen, like you have a lot of guys right now, Greg Ward, who are going to be battling it out for that third wide receiver spot. Now, more likely than not, it'll be running, it'll be wide receiver, excuse me, by committee for the number three place. But whoever, again, you keep using this term, rises to the top, will be getting a lot more snaps and a lot more reps and a lot more of a chance to have some really easy one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the third or fourth best cornerback on the football field at a time against a defense. Now, we assume it's Pascal, we assume it's Watkins, but what about Jalen Rager? I keep saying that I'm holding out the tiniest bit of hope for Jalen Raker, and I mean the tiniest bit of hope. I want him to be good so bad. I want him to have a breakout year. I want him to be the best receiver on this football team, even though we assume Smith and Brown are going to be that. But imagine if Rager actually started performing like he was supposed to. You put him in the slot, 
with that speed and that ability to run after the catch alongside Smith and alongside A.J. Brown, that would be the best case scenario for the Eagles offense in terms of the top three pass catchers. Now, more likely than not, it'll be Pascal or Quest Watkins, which again is totally fine. But even a guy like Devin Allen, who's the sprinter track star guy, is going to get his fair shake and potentially trying to go ahead and not only make the roster, but also maybe be the third wide receiver on this team. Is there a surefire battle happening at wide receiver three? I think yes. Do I know exactly who's going to go ahead and win it? Honestly, I don't. I really don't. I, I'm assuming it's Watkins or Pascal, but I'm really holding out hope that Jillian Rager is going to be able to take up take over that job and win it because you want your first round draft pick to actually do something, and this is kind of his last year and his last chance to go ahead and do so. Okay, we mentioned earlier that we hate the Cowboys, and the Cowboys channel as well at Chat Sports has more subscribers than we do. And so if you guys uh, don't like the Cowboys and love the Eagles, and subscribe down below as we're approaching 3,300 subs here on our Philadelphia Eagles Now channel. We're at 3,297, so eight away from 33, or from 30300, which is pretty crazy. So if you guys hate the Cowboys, love the Eagles, go down below and subscribe. Okay, we want to mention this quickly here. Our sponsor for today's video is Manscaped, and they're offering 20% off plus free shipping when you use our link, manscaped.com forward slash chat. You can pick up the Lawnmower 4.0, which is their fourth generation uh, trimmer featuring the cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Thanks to, and this is the best part of it, the advanced skin safe technology means you're most likely not going to nick yourself. I saw the Lawnmower 3.0, and it works great. I can only imagine much better the Lawnmower 4.0 is with its 7,000 uh, uh, RPM motor, multifunction on and off switch. You can also have a travel lock because sometimes these things get you know, you know turned on accidentally going through TSA and then the battery's dead and you get to your travel place. This thing is absolutely fantastic. And the light that's on it, trust me, you're going to love the 4000K LED spotlight when you need to go ahead and get that precise shape. Again, uh, our, our watchers right now can get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com forward slash chat and pick up the lawnmower 4.0. Check out the Manscaped products as they are fantastic and go ahead and get to grooming uh, right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our final position battle, and that is really the biggest one, I think. And I think wide receiver and, and running back are big ones, but a true position battle that is really unknown is the guard spot. And I, I would argue it's one guard spot, but technically it could be two, because there are three guards in place for two guard positions. With the retirement of Brandon Brooks, you obviously have Landon Dickerson, who was fantastic as a rookie. You now have rookie Cam Jurgens, who is a center, but must wait to play center because of Jason Kelsey. And Isaac Samalu, who is one of the better left guards in the entire National Football League when healthy, health has just always been an issue. And so, while you assume that Samalu will get the start, I've said this all along, you spent a pretty early second round draft pick on Cam Jurgens. Is he going to sit the entire year? I don't think so. There's no way. I mean, Lana Dickerson was our second round draft pick. Were you going to sit him the entire year? No. Like, these offensive linemen, when they're drafted by Philadelphia and they get with the uh, Eagles offensive line and the Eagles offensive line coach, they are ready to play. Like, why can't Cam Jurgens be one of the starters and Lana Dickerson be one of the other ones? Like, I think Sam Mollo is a great player. I think that he maybe can win with this job right now, but he has his hands full with two really good, really young guards who might just need to go ahead and play and and, and 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 have a chance to start. I think that Dickerson for sure is one of them. It's Jurgens versus Samalo. May the best guard win. Who you guys think will be the two starting guards for the Eagles? Let me know down below right now in the comments section. I think it'll be Dickerson. I, maybe Jurgens. I don't know. It's a tough one. That's a, I, 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 you think about it. It's like either way is going to work. Give me the best two. Give me your thoughts down below right now. Okay, quickly here, the NBA draft is happening this Thursday on June 23rd. And the guys at Chat Sports at our headquarters will have you guys covered on the main Chat Sports channel. So go over there and subscribe and be ready to go for the draft show, as it is absolutely fantastic stuff by our. Uh, all the guys up there at our headquarters as they do a great job breaking down every single draft pick from the both both of the, the the two rounds of the NBA draft. See who your favorite team picks with uh, all the guys up there at our Dallas studios. Okay, we're running back through this here as we end today's video. The three big uh, starting position battles on offense. You have running back, wide receiver, and guard. I will get to the defensive guys here uh, in a video later on this week because defense has some pretty important battles as well. You think linebacker, you think pass rush, you think safety. We'll get to those uh, in a future video. Uh, let's just end on this thought, though. Philadelphia, they have a luxury of really players on offense like they are loaded on offense right now and we talk about oh they have all these running backs who wins it oh they have all these guards who wins it oh wide receivers who win. like uh, in the end the best people are going to win and the best players are going to start and that's going to give philadelphia the best chance to win as many football games as possible so we break down battles and oh this guy should win that guy might win oh no you're wrong on that just know that they have a ton of great players and the best players are hopefully going to win 
All right, we'll end on this. You guys are still watching, comment TMOT down below for a shout out in a future video. Shout out to Nina Alston, who booked her flight yesterday for Cardinals Eagles. Congratulations to Nina, one of our subscribers who commented on yesterday's video. So if you want to subscribe, uh, uh, shout out on tomorrow's video, comment TMOT down below for a shout out. Okay, ultimate day on our Philadelphia Eagles news rumor video. I'm your host, Thomas Mott, for producer Trace, signing off for the rest of your day.